we're officially good and on our way. I mean, match has already started, but the main match on stream hasn't started yet. That's fine. That gives everybody else in the round time to find each other. Let's round one have time to finish. Mm -hmm. Like we get into round three as quick as possible. Because round three is going to be explosive. You call round one? Got you. No, that's fine. Yo, round three and on? It's going to be crazy. That's when all the matches settle, so everyone's ready to play. That's when the bracket starts diluting, so you get an actual, like, good good matches happening. It's really good. That's crazy. This game just makes you wake up and choose violence. It, it, it does. That's it does. ridiculous. I can't blame him, though. This game, this game like is that. so easy at making you feel stupid. Regardless of whether the decision you made or not was right or wrong, sometimes it just don't work. <laughs> Yo, Tayuga, thank you so much for that sub. I appreciate that. Uh, you are good to go. Ku6 versus Roku Shen is our first match of the night. Oh! Let's go. Round. Listen, round two is okay. Round three, I don't even know who to put. It's that fucking insane. There's no matches tomorrow for Money Match Sunday, but the week after, I'm going to start having some matches for you guys. Hold up. Who, who put Crew Sticks versus Curl Hands? Oh, they fucking up on the best. It's, it's all right. It's all right. We, we need you to start here, though. All right, guys. That's supposed to say Roku shit, not Curl Hands, but let's get into this match. All right. Oh, shit. I am so hyped for this tournament. 78-man bracket. Oh! Man, that's a lot of people. Let's go. We're going to have so many good matches. This Oof. tournament's going to run late. Let's get it. But you know what? Sometimes it be like that, right? Oh, yeah. We're here for a good time. Holy shit. We're here for a good time and a long time. Yup. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. Let's get it. Dope boy. You already know what it is out here. Let's get it. Goose is going in with the 18. Whoa. Whoa. He's also using the B assist with uh, TN, huh? It's really good way for him to control neutral. Like 2S, TND just kind of controls the entire ground. So I, I really like, this, the, like the screen control potential from this team. So let's yeah. see if Acoustics has the execution for it. Nice. nice. Getting knocked down. Okay. All right. He's backing off here. Oh, now we got a block. Ooh. That's he said, that he said yo, that's not going to work on me, brother. <laughs> Man, Kuo has been playing nothing but Roshi players since he got here at the house. Oh, dropped the combo. Oh, no punish? I definitely thought he was waiting for something because he sat on the floor. So, fun fact and actual story that happened today. Okay. Lab. This kind of involved, uh, involved you. Okay. So, Prodigy came in and told Kuo Sticks. He said, yo, Kuo Sticks, yo, why are you playing so many teams every week? Right? Okay. He's like, how can you get any better? So Kusik took that as like, you know, kind of disrespect, and was like, "Bro, don't talk to me. You, you, you literally keep losing to lap, and legit from there, <laughs> legit from there, they started arguing. I'm not even joking. That's godlike. So that air there. He was like, "Don't talk to me until you beat lap," and he was like, "Nigga, you will lose to lap too." <laughs> And I was like, yo, Prodigy. <laughs> yo, that's so funny. Oh, my God. So I was like, I was like, so, so can Kusik see you? And he was like, absolutely not. I said, yeah, I played first and seven. What the score would be? He said it would be like 7-3, seven 7-2. Seven he, like, he, he, he was like, he got a lot better, though. <laughs> <laughs> So, so you know what's next in line for Money Match Sunday, right? Oh, it's going to be Goose Sticks in front? Absolutely. Oh, hell yeah. The run back. Absolutely. I'm ready for that. They, they like... popped off for like a good five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> that's godlike. So right now, though, uh, Rokushin definitely has the lead here. Ooh, that's a medium starter. That's good damage. Uh-huh. Ooh, okay. I like this. Okay. He doesn't kill. I like this. This is like an even match though, because Rokushin is low on health with all his characters. Oh, the witch! Oh my god, nice. Yo, Dane, thank you for the sub. I appreciate that. Oh, this combo is sick. No drops. Ooh, uh, I've never seen that. Added a little flavor to that combo. It's a dirty fireworks. <laughs> I like when he, I like when he says that. <laughs> dirty fireworks. All right, Mix. Who still has to hold it? Wow! Yo, the guts on this man is insane. That's crazy. 
That's how we feel. Did he just think Rokushi was going to do wake up DR? Yo, he said he was going to safe jump me, so I was just going to drag him right That's exactly it works, what it works. just said, yeah. And it worked. Do see assist? So you had that conversation earlier about see assist, where some people don't like it because it has a long cooldown, which is a fair opinion. However, the easy conversions make it so tournament viable because yep. you don't have to put that much brain power. You don't have to have, like, perfect execution because it drops into the floor. It literally brings the opponent to you. Yeah. So... I like that we get to see C assist represented in this tournament. And, it's, and, and the thing is, I actually agree with Ali Yoon and disagree with Faulty. Where, you know, even though me and Ali Yoon, we don't see eye to eye on pretty much anything. You know what I'm saying? But I do agree with him on the C assist. The C assist, for multiple reasons, is actually solid. For tense situations, especially, where you can drop a combo just because your heart is beating too fast, your brain is overthinking, whatever the case may be. The C, the, the C assist, you know, it, it helps out a lot when it comes to execution. Oh, it definitely does. Wow, good 2H. He's dead here. So, as long as you don't drop this combo. The C assist definitely does. And we also have to put into retrospect, C assist beams are unique in the sense that because they auto convert, if I call a beam and I dash jump and I block, if you challenge my block with a regular beam assist, there's no risk there because the beam hits you yep. and I can't convert. But for C assist beam, you have to you have to hold Wow! Man, he's dead here. No drop? Hell no. And you know this character hits hard. Look at the damage! Oh he definitely do. He said Kamehame! <laughs> <laughs> he burned, right? I, I, I fucking love what he does. He goes, Kamehame! You're Roshi Gassy, bro. That's all it is. <laughs> yeah, it'd be like that. Man. Normal C assist is 14 seconds, but if you use C assist and use DAC in the same combo, it comes back in 4.5 seconds. Yes, a lot of people are doing that as well. Where your C assist character you use as a DHC. Yeah. So when we saw, like, throw out uh, Rokushin. When we saw, as an example, Goichi was playing Kid Buu C with Ginyu. So he would do, he would win neutral Bardock, do Kid Buu level 1, Ginyu level 1. And it would give Ginyu the, the knockdown situation that Ginyu wants to get started. And because Kid Buu did super, the assist is coming back much faster than it would regularly. Yeah, very nice. Yo, how are we smoke, smoke blunt? What is good, man? Okay. Yo, RCX was good. Ooh. Ooh. Yo, Goose is a little gutsy today, huh? Oh, he always gutsy. What do you think of this? Ah, okay. Ooh. He fucked that up. Nice. I'm kind of curious. I, I mean, I'll ask him after, but why is it that he went with B assist TN? I feel like with this team, he actually would benefit more with the A assist. True, but unfortunately for a lot of players, I think this is a player thing, not a team thing. Screen control in this game matters a lot, yeah. and it matters not the ground control, it's the air game. And although he has UIA, it's a pillar. It's a very strong assist, especially in the corner. But mid screen, as you see right there, it, it doesn't affect him. But the, the B assist from Tian builds a little bit of bar, it locks down, and it tracks anywhere on screen. Although the tracking isn't perfect, but it's it's good enough to where it warrants that I want to control people in the sky. And here's the thing. Something that Prodigy is saying, and I'm starting to see it too, had Pussy played with his other team, he definitely would not be dropping these combos, but because he's playing a new character, he is dropping a lot of things that I feel like he would not drop. Yeah. And look, 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 dropping, oh, no making bad decisions. Ooh, ooh, that was good, though. Yeah. Okay. Understandable. Nice. I like the switch. He's dead. Yep. Keep you eye in. Nice. I like that simple combo. Yeah, level two. That's right. Uh -huh. Ryan, yep. Very smart. And yo, stream. We're already at a thousand one hundred and eight viewers. Wow. We just started the stream. Are you fucking? We kidding had like eight hundred earlier when you were doing the real talk. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. The holiday's over. Everybody's ready for chaos now. That's all they are happening. ready for the chaos. Top notch scholar. What is good? Okay. So Rokushin, last character, Go Tanks with Spark. Wow. That was really tricky overhead. So his last character, Go Tanks with. Spark and Limit Break could make something happen, especially since that full bar. Can we talk about that damage? Oh, yeah. There's, go There's new Goten. Ooh! Blocks? Oh, uh, that opened up. I could lower the game a little bit, just slightly. I got you. We have 44. 
41. I lowered it just a little bit. All right, let us know if that's any better, guys. We appreciate all the... Ooh. Lockdown. Yo, King Nicky, thank you so much for the stop. Okay. Like that. Ooh, yeah. and that's... Yep, that's the good thing about that assist. But, oh, yo, Cruise Sticks dropping. That's like the fourth time. Yeah, that's so unfortunate. He was even dropping in the, the casual set. Oh, he blocked that. Oh, yeah. that was a bad bust. Up. And that's the thing. is, like, I don't understand why he's just not sticking with the cheap team that he had before. We're going to see how this plays out for him. Ooh. Oh, wow. He's not dead, but he has to hold Ghost OP. Yeah, he's about to do 40% of Ghost OP. You know what? He don't even have to do Ghost OP. But he's going to do it anyway, because yeah. the next hit will kill. The 50-50 you get off this is a lot easier to confirm than, like, level 3 knockout. And Ooh. that's a medium starter. Wow. All right, and uh, Rokushin will take it 2-0 over two six. Wow. What a good set from both players. There was a lot of, like, so Rokushin does the plus frames but doesn't press anything because he realized that Kustix was pressing buttons in that situation. Kustix had a lot of bars, so he had a reason to do the level 3 reversal. Yep. So it's good recognition from, from Rokushin. Kustix, the team, honestly, I don't think the team is too bad. I just think his he execution with the team. My thing is he was playing with Piccolo, Brawly, and then one other character. And UI, which is a really cheap team. And I felt like it fit him better than this team. I didn't understand the reason of him switching off to another team. I'll talk to him about that later. Because it's like, in all honesty, I tell, this, I tell Scamby the same thing. If you're constantly switching to teams, you become the jack of all trades but the master of nothing. Yeah. And you can't do that. Like, you have to be able to master your team in order to, to you know what I'm saying, bypass a lot of your walls that are blocking you from becoming a better player. You can't just play a different team constantly to try to bypass obstacles. It's not going to work out for you. You have to be able to stick with that team and learn the ins and outs before switching over to something else. So, you know, I'm going to tell Kusi the same thing. Stick with the team, brother. It, it definitely, like... And, and, and Prod Prod in all honesty, I knew Prodigy wasn't coming from a bad place. I no. knew Prodigy was, you know, he was he was coming from a place where he really wanted to see Kustics, you know what I'm saying, come out and, and, and do better. Oh, yeah. But, you know, you can't... You can see that he dropped a lot of comments. Yeah, he definitely Kustik. was. Even in the casuals, so, you know, normally when... Oh, I dropped the combo. It's online. But we was just playing off to the set right there. He was still dropping the combos in the same exact spots. He was dropping the combos against Rokushin. He was dropping the combos against me. He also switched teams during the set, trying all different things. It's just a thing that players go through because sometimes you play a set team and that team has flaws and you're like, damn, these flaws, I can't get them. So you play a team that covers those flaws and you find out the new flaws and you just get yourself in that loop because... The, even though the team does have its difficulty, you, you as a player need to...